now we can start picking up items. Uh, but to do that, we need two things. First of all, we need items. Second thing is that we need an interface to interact with items that are on the ground, right? But we've done that uh, already before, so this should be quite easy. So do we have, let's go into project settings, let's see inputs. We have, I don't know, let's do an action input. Let's do it on uh, F, like usually, and let's call it interaction. And let's go into our uh, collision settings and let's see, do we have custom? We don't have anything custom. Okay, so in the trace channel, let's make a new trace channel. Let's call it uh, interaction channel. And by default, everything ignores interaction channel. Accept it. Okay. Mm. And now we go back to our survival character. We can actually close all of these for now. Um, and we need to allow this kind of interaction. So here we need tick and we're going to say local controlled and player control. Mm. I don't know what, get controller. Um, is local player controlled? This will be as easy. So if the controller is a local player, then and only then we want to do a sphere trace by channel. And the start of the sphere trace is our camera location. And the end trace will be camera location plus uh, vector plus vector. We need um, camera forward vector uh, multiply by the length uh, yes uh, multiply by the length uh, so let's say 250 and this will be the end point and let's make the radius something small, like three. And the trace channel is interaction. And let's say that we want to draw for one frame and the later we'll drop it. Or we can instantly just do a variable called debug and we'll just use it to control uh, any debug draws that we have. So we just do a select and if debug is true, then for one frame, if it's false, then it's none. Um, ignore self, obviously, um, actors to ignore, we probably going to have, uh, not only inventory, but also equipment manager, and we don't need to modify this equipment manager. So we're going to get equipment manager and say all items, and we're going to ignore everything that we have here. Um, and we can collapse this to a function, uh, check for interaction, and we can just put a sequence here on tick. And here we can do it proper way. So this is the first gate. This is good. Then this need to be called uh, Mm. Let's do it. No, because even if it's not valid, we still want to do it. I don't know what. Yeah, let's do it like this. Uh, local ignore targets and ignore targets is actor array. Object reference array and it's empty. So if this is true, then we want to set this and if this is false we want to um, just make array and maybe 
just get the instigator just not to have an empty uh, array that's it and we use target here do we trade complex trace complex we can actually go here and make it changeable same as this for the function and okay and if we hit something if we hit something uh, then we should also check if this item is in any way uh, visible so we got this impact point and we're going to do a um, line trace by channel and start is again the camera location and the end, end point is uh, impact point and trace channel visibility and it has the same ignore targets and it has the same trace complex and no radius settings and we can copy this and put it here uh, wait, what why this happen okay visibility oh and this goes here yeah that makes a lot more sense and uh, those are just colors okay so now we got those two traces so if they both uh, succeeds that means that our object uh, is not only in range for interaction but is also visible to us so we're not tracing it through wall for example so now we got this hit actor, right? And this actor can be stored as a variable here as interactable object. Wait, caps. Interactable, let's just call it like this and let's make it a single actor let's just set it from this hit actor and if anything else happens we don't really care and we don't have to even distribute the return nodes because we are not returning any value so any failed execution like here or here they will just automatically go into return but it is still good practice to do so so we're going to do it already what did i do Oh, this is annoying. Okay, yeah, default. Mm, control C. Okay. So we got this uh, check for interaction. We have debug true. We don't need those inputs. And radius will be three. Oh, by the way, we can set default settings here whenever we call it so we got this okay let's now make an interactable object so in any games like the only survival game I have really good experience with is Colin Excel so the first things you can interact with is grass sticks and stones so let's do that what we need now is stones that we can interact with so let's make such an actor blueprint Let's make a blueprint class it's an actor and let's call it bp co, uh, bp item stone and what we need also is blueprint class actor bp world actor stone Okay, so this is item stone and item stone uh, should have a mesh. Mm. That is the default scene root. Let's make it stone. Uh, you know what? It will be a lot easier if I just go here. Here, because I want to use only this mm, pack 
Oh, rocks, it's here. Okay, how small is small? This is the small one, whoa. Okay, this is a lot smaller. Let's use this one. Mm, let's just use this. His scale is one, he's movable, he's using this material. There's nothing really important about him except this. And now he can, uh, no, general law, yes, uh, custom. And let's say that he is war dynamic, that's fine. He's blocking both visibility and camera. Uh, and he is blocking interaction, he is blocking word static dynamic, he is ignoring pawn, he is ignoring um, physics body, uh, vehicle, and destructible. Okay? And we are also adding an item, HR item component to make this an item. So uh, his stackable, max stack will be 100, current stack will be zero because this is an, well, we can set it to one, doesn't really matter. Uh, inventory space, let's give him a weight. Let's say that the weight is, um, I don't know, 0.25 of kilogram. We don't care about volume and space slot, he takes one. Base information, stone. Similarly, when dropped, yes. Item tag slot type. Let's make some types, I guess. So you can go into project settings. And we can go into gameplay tags and let's see what we have here. So we've got item, armor grenade, other utility. Uh, <sighs> Example tags. Let's make a copy of it into here. Let's make a new folder called data. Let's move it here. Set color and this is DT survival survival tags. Okay, so now we need to register this table. So we just add another one and say survival tags. And we go back here, we open this, and what we do is we remove everything that we have in it because that would make duplicates. And we just want to add a new and let's call it uh, item. I think it was like this item. Okay. Let's say item dot resource dot stone, and we'll will need two more for sure. Uh, item dot resource dot branch, and we can also do item dot resource dot. Uh, how was it called? Um, let's not make it grass. It was. Uh, oh man, um, um, yeah, let's just, just call it grass for now. Okay, save. Uh, plant fiber. Okay, so just plant fiber. Uh, so yeah, let's make those three items. And by the way, let's check if this have simple collision. It does, so that's great.